vehicle, we've got our very own mechanised conveyor catwalk. But what are the movers and the shakers? Well, first of all, we've got some begonias to show you. The traditional bedding begonia. Yes, yeah, so this is a begonia semiflorans. It's organdy, but the blooms never fully open and it's quite stunted and not that weatherproof. Right. Now look at this biggie. This is begonia lotto. Much bigger, more landscape style growth. Big clear flowers, leaves like water lily pads, and perfect for any weather. This is not something I use very often, but actually it's called a makeup brush. Don't try and get the compost off with water because it will often go very muddy and it can stain your plants. It's far easier to use a makeup brush. So we've got an annual Antorinum, a plant that dies down to ground every year. Absolutely. So traditional snapdragons, lovely, pretty, but don't flower for long. Good alternative is the perennial hardy penstemons flowering for five to six months and really, really tough and resilient in the garden. Once I've prepared that cutting, you can either use a dibber to make a hole. I don't like these, I've got my own dibber. And I'm going to make a hole towards the outside of the pot because you get an exchange of oxygen through that wall. Coleus, I mean, a plant that many of us has grown as children and as we've got older. A traditional foliage plant in Victorian times, but now we have perilla, which is very similar, nice colours, but also edible, good for stir fries or salad. If you get to this stage and you don't like it, take it all out and start again. You know, nothing is set in concrete when it's in compost. Oh, and gerberas. Gerberas, this is very exciting. Brand new breeding, these are hardy down to minus 10. They'll come back every year with these lovely, big, florist quality flowers. Right. So a revival is really taking place. Absolutely. Bedding is changing. Your choices are much wider than they used to be. So I hope you're now as excited about bedding as I am. So come on, let's roll out the carpet for the Great British Bedding Revival.